What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. So, thank you so much for clicking on this week's video. I really appreciate it. If you watch the vlogs, like, I freaking love you. I, I do. I love you. So, it is Tuesday today. I'm actually doing something kind of exciting today. I'm going roller skating at one of those, like, roller derby kind of things. They're, like, pretty trendy at the moment, I think. One opened in Cape Town not so long ago. So, I don't know how well I'm going to do because, I mean, I pride myself in, like, being good or, like, capable at, like, a lot of things. Like, I don't want to be that person that, like, can't do things. But I'm not very good at, like, ice skating. Granted, I've only done it twice, but, like, both times I was really bad, so I don't really want to do it again. So I'm assuming that I'm going to be pretty bad at roller skating, and I don't know how to rollerblade, I don't know how to skateboard. So those are the only things I'm a little bit iffy about when it comes to my skills. But we'll see. I'm going with a bunch of my friends and whatever. I'm just going to keep falling and it's fine. Um, but it looks really, really, really cool. So this is my outfit. I'm just wearing this little t-shirt. It's from Mr. Price, I think. And a little bralette underneath. These rings are from Shein. My little earrings are from Curative. Use code Caitlin for 10% off. These are my favorite earrings. I wear them literally every single day. This little daisy choker is from Days CPT, I think. You can find them on Instagram. And then I've just got little butterfly clips in. And oh, my new jeans. Oh, you can't see them, but they are purple jeans. Oh, I guess you can kind of see in the mirror. They're so, so nice. I love them. They're like really high-waisted and a little bit baggy and like super wide-legged. Um, so yeah, that's my little roller skating outfit. I don't even think I'm going to bring a handbag. I think I'm just going to put my phone in my pockets because I don't want to have to leave it there. But we, this is actually really weird. So, you know, I went to the water park, not last weekend, the weekend before. And like, I do a whole bunch of things here. It's so safe here. When we went to the water park, we left our phones just like on a lounger. And it's, it's so normal. Like, no one is going to steal your phone here. Like... If you're at a food court or something and like you need to go fetch your food, like you just leave your phone on the table. Like it's just, it's quite a foreign feeling. Like it's just really weird. So I'm like searching for my stuff the whole time and everyone around me like chill. Like you know in South Africa we're like handbags. Like if I'm at a restaurant in South Africa, my handbag's on me. I don't put it in the chair next to me, hook it on my chair. Like we've all seen those Facebook videos. Like your, your shit will get stolen. And yeah, it's just, it's weird. Like it just won't get stolen. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm learning things like this every single day just to be like a little bit more chill and relaxed and whatever. So, but anyway, I'm just going to bring my phone. I won't bring my vlog camera either. I'll just film a bit on my phone. But yeah, I'm going with a couple of my friends and it will be really fun. I've made some really nice friends here, which I'm so grateful for. Like, I'm just such an extrovert and I need to be around people and specifically girls. Like, I need to be around girls. Jared's lovely. Love the boy. Love him to bits. But he's just not a girl, is he? <laughs> I just need like girl talk and like that kind of thing. So I'm actually seeing a couple of my friends this week. This is kind of like a social week. I don't know how that happened, but it ended up being a social week. But I also wanted to show you the new stuff I got from Opali. Remember in the last vlog, I was like, I really hope they send me something else. They were like, girl, we got you. Of course, we'll send you something else. So this is what I picked from the selection if you guys don't understand how like brand collaborations and stuff work basically they'll send you like a link wh wh whichever brand it's whether it's cotton on or mr price or whatever they'll either send you a voucher for you to go and shop in store and they'll give you like a budget or they'll send you a whole bunch of um pieces in a link that you can choose from and then you pick your sizes and stuff and then they send it to you so this is what i send um i don't know if you guys follow luvia Faye. On Instagram or on TikTok um, she is so sweet and she actually had this in orange so I decided to get it in the blue it's gonna be really difficult to show you off camera but this is the little top oh, already the color it's like so nice this is the top it's like a little bit asymmetrical so it goes down like this this part goes a little bit higher it's just really retro asymmetrical pattern vibes and then I got the matching pants the pants are so freaking nice so it's the same print, but they're like high-waisted pants. And then they have that little like kind of strappy detail. I don't know. It's difficult to show you off camera. But if I end up shooting it this week, I will put a, put a picture of it here. But if I haven't shot it yet, then you'll see it on my Instagram maybe next week. I don't know. I just don't know if I'm going to have time to shoot it 
this week. So we'll see. But yeah, being part of the little O Party Squad is so freaking nice because they have such nice stuff. So I hope they send me any more. <laughs> That'd be so great. Then next week you guys will see another O Party outfit. And this stuff's so nice. But again, like I said in my last vlog, like, would you guys wear this stuff? Because I'm going to wear it and I'm going to shoot it. And then one of you can borrow it. Like, just let me know. Anyways, Elsie's going to come fetch me now. And I don't have a car here, which is really weird for, like, my independence. Like, I'm a super independent individual, but I don't have a car. But I'm slowly, I'm slowly starting to get used to it. But I'm excited to have my car back. Anyways, I will chat to you guys a little bit later. Like I said, I'll film at the roller skating place, but I don't know how much I'm going to film because I'm most probably going to be falling all over the place, but we'll see. Anyways, I will chat to you when I get back. Wednesday today um yesterday I went roller skating and it was so much fun I'm sure you've seen the little videos that I posted but it was actually so much fun I'll definitely go back it's just so difficult to like learn how to do things like that like it's such a foreign feeling well for me at least like I find ice skating and roller skating such a foreign feeling which is very weird because I can snow ski and it's like pretty much the same thing but anyways um I can't wait to go back to keep learning and it was the perfect way to learn because there was literally no one there so I fell like three times <laughs> and there was like no one to laugh at me which was amazing so anyway today I have just been working I put at the pool went to the gym and now I'm actually going out again I'm going to get my nails done now I don't actually get my nails done um if you guys follow me on Instagram or you follow the vlogs you guys know that um I don't get my nails done because I was a pageant girl and I used to get my nails done all the time and I just feel like that feeling when your nails are like paper thin after acrylics, it's just not a great time. Or gel, like it'll chip because I do a lot of things with my hands. Like I'm not like a dainty little, oh I can't touch that because I'll break a nail. Like I'll do anything. <laughs> so I feel like it's always going to chip or something and then I'm like, I'm always in a different city. So... I can't like find one nail tech and like only trust her to do my nails because I'm always round about the place and I've got a book an appointment here, book an appointment there, whatever. So it's about timing, convenience and also just I hate, I don't want to have weak nails, I don't want to have weak hair, that's why I don't have um, hair extensions or bonds in and I don't have eyelash extensions and I don't have nail extensions. So that's just my, my philosophy, I want those three things to grow like wildfire and be like really tough and strong so as much as that pains me like all I want in my life are cute nails that's all I want because it's it's so aesthetic and it's so beautiful but I'm not willing to sacrifice the health of my nails unfortunately but I'm gonna go get them done tonight I'm not gonna get anything crazy I'll just get a manicure because I'm meeting a whole bunch of my friends for it and it's like a nice thing for girls to do together so I was like oh I don't get my nails done but I'll just go get a mani manicure anyway so that's what I'm doing, but I needed to show you the outfit because it's just where it's at. So these rings are from Shein, the big chunky ones, and then this is from the set, from Pepper Beads. Um, I've spoken about them before. Um, it's just like a little beaded ring. I've got matching necklace and waist chain and everything. Should I put the waist chain on? I'm probably going to do that. Then I'm just wearing this tiny little crop top from Shein and blue jeans. And then I'm wearing these... <laughs> flip-flop heels which is just my favorite shoe I've slicked my hair back in a little ponytail wearing little butterfly earrings and this blazer is from Bershka Bershka and Stradivarius I don't know if I'm saying that right Stradivarius I don't know but they're basically like they're like Zara here but like cheaper so the shoes are from Stradivarius and the blazers from Bershka and I Every time I go to the mall, I just like go straight to those two shops because I find them so, so, so cool. So, 
that's what I'm wearing. Gonna go out with the girls. Maybe we'll go for dinner or something afterwards. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm having such a social week. Who do I think I am? Anyways, um, I'm gonna go and I'll show you guys my nails when they're done. I don't even know what I'm gonna get. I never get my nails done anymore. Um, I think maybe I'll just get like a color. But what color? What color is gonna go on my Instagram right now? I don't even know, but anyway. I will speak to you guys tomorrow. Every time I've picked up the vlog, you've been in the same spot, I've been standing in the same place in the room, but you know what, that's just what this vlog is gonna be. It's gonna be a lot of me talking in this exact position. So, when to get my nails done last night, this is how they look. Is that not the cutest freaking thing you've ever seen in your whole entire life? Wow, so, so cute. I really hope it doesn't chip. So cute, I actually wanna take a photo of it and put it on my Instagram today. But, it was really nice, spent time with my friends, came back, me and Jared just chilled, watched some series, and I spoke to my brother. Actually, I'm probably the only person that's ever heard of this, but, me and my brother and now I've just invited Jared to join us this year. Um, we watched the Marble League, so it's like the World Cup, but for marbles, like marbles. It sounds so stupid, but it's so freaking good. So every year my brother and I pick like four teams, and then I'm winning at the moment. The Raspberry Races are coming first. And this year Jared's joined us, so he's also got four teams. He's not doing very well. <laughs> I'm doing really well. Um, my brother won last year. I think I'm gonna win this year. There's only two events left, so when there's another um, event, I'll vlog a little bit. Even though you guys are definitely not gonna care, but it's part of my life, so I'm just gonna share it. But yeah, every like three days, the event comes out, so we like Zoom, and we like root for our teams and whatever, and it's so intense, like it's so competitive. It's like picking a World Cup soccer team and like rooting for them. Oh, they were in there. 45. In the heavens. They were in there. They're not going to be first. <laughs> still first. Please, still first. Yes! I'm first and second! I'm first and second! Oh my word. Anyway, really stupid, but honestly, really cool. I'm actually on my way out again now. I've just worked out. Like, I feel like, you know, when your heart like is still racing from your workout, you like can't cool down. Anyway, that's happening to me. And I was gonna walk to this place, but it's literally midday, and that's, it's honestly just too dangerous to walk. It's only like a 15 minute walk, but with the sun, like I'd have to be fully covered up, and you have to walk with your mask, obviously, and I just would probably pass out. So I'm not gonna walk, I'll take a taxi. Maybe I'll walk on the way back. So I've packed my hat um, and my sunglasses and stuff for the way back, and I've put some sunblock on. Seriously, the sun here is just so dangerous. You just need to be so careful. I'm like lathering myself in sunblock every day. I'm gonna go meet my friend now for an acai bowl. I actually order from this acai bowl place like literally all the time, like every third day, cause it's so good. Um, so I was like, let's rather just go into the shop and see what it's up, see what it's about. So that's where I'm gonna go now. I'm wearing this little Zaffle dress. If you watch my Zaffle haul, it's just so cute, isn't it? Oh, I love it so much. I love the tie. Natural makeup on, same rings as yesterday. And my nails are so cute. That is just so summer, isn't it? Oh, this is running out of space. I should format this card. Oopsie. Jay is about to come home from work. Oh my gosh, look at my slippers. Oh. They are dark slippers. I really needed slippers like I'm like a slipper person like I don't like to walk around the house barefoot because if I get on the bed and there's like dust or something on my feet like no get away from me so I'm like such a slipper person and we were just in like some random shop and I was like oh my gosh I need slippers and these were like sitting right in front of us so we got them anyways my acai date was so good I'll put a picture of my acai over here and yeah now jay is gonna come back from work now like any second now i've just been vacuuming and like wiping down the surfaces like a wifey um 
and then he'll probably just have a shower and then we're gonna go out for supper with some of our friends like i said earlier i don't know why i'm seeing so many friends in this vlog but i think i'm gonna end the vlog here i don't know it depends on what we're gonna do tomorrow i might vlog tomorrow if you guys are new to the channel or new to my face i am a dairy free queen i can't eat dairy um i am extremely intolerant it's just not a great time so <laughs> i still do eat it every now and then but every single time i eat it i regret it so tomorrow apparently there's a really good vegan pizza place somewhere around here so i think we're gonna go and get vegan pizza which i'm so excited about and tomorrow's friday so that's jared's day or friday's like a sunday so that is that i'm gonna get changed because i'm still wearing this cutesy little dress I might change into something cuter for supper, but if I do, you'll see a picture or a video of it sometime in this vlog. Anyways, see you tomorrow. Guys, just getting ready, and I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, I saw a girl talk about this on TikTok, but I literally can't remember her name, so you're hearing it from me. But she said... If you're anything like me and you only want to wear lashes like on the outer corner of your eye, like I hate wearing a full lash because I've already got like quite a rounder face and round eyes. I want to more like elongated. So instead of getting lashes and then cutting off like the side that you want to use, you must get lashes that are longer in the middle. You know, normally lashes are long on the outside. You should get lashes. Wait, I'm going to glue this on quickly. Anyway, I've just put them on, but if you only wear lashes on the outer corners of your eye, instead of getting lashes and then trimming them to where you want, rather go for lashes that are longer in the middle, because then you just cut them in half. You cut each lash in half, and then you put the middle part of this lash on your outer corner, and then you have like two sets of lashes. Absolutely genius. So the ones that I've got here are the... These are just the only ones that I could find in the shop. I didn't like look too hard. But these are the Cheryl ones. Um, the I Lure London. But the Cheryl Cole collab. And yeah. So I hope you understand what I mean. Like these ones are longer in the middle. Instead of longer on the outside. So you just cut it in half. Yeah. And then you wear one on each side. And you've got so many more lashes. So I'm just like touching up my makeup. That's why I thought I'd let you guys know. It was really difficult to put lashes on after I've already put mascara on. But whatever. Anyways, this is what I ended up wearing. You can't see the full outfit, but I will chat you guys tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.